The next story is about energy. All right. New Jersey ramps up targets as it looks to go big on offshore wind. All right. So that's one part of energy and looks like the governor of New Jersey is 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 going to put a big investment into going with the wind technology. The next story is going to blow your mind. All right. Uh, the next story is going to blow your mind. How many of you are Ford fanatics? How many of you like the Mustang? How about the Mustang Mach-E takes a shot at Tesla? The Tesla Model Y and Ford Mach-E are expected to feature similar pricing. Um, performance specifications in EV range, second, blah, 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 blah. How about, folks, we getting ready to get an all-electric Mustang? Holy smokes. How about that? We're about to get an all-electric Mustang. Um, uh, Ford reveals its first mass marketing electrical car, the Mustang Mach-E, which is all-electric that bears the name of the company's iconic muscle car at a ceremony in Hawthorne, California on November 17th. Man, it looks terrible. It doesn't look cool. That looks cool. Anybody think that looks ugly? It looks like a ball. It doesn't look, it looks like, it looks hot. It doesn't even look like a muscle. You don't, you don't count right now. That's not. Does anybody, does anybody else think that this is an ugly looking car? I'm curious to know. I like the look of that car. Does anybody think that's an ugly looking car? Mustang E SUV looks sweet at 45000 They don't have the heart to tell you. They got the heart to tell me. They, I like the look of that car. Does anybody not like the look of that car? All right. Anyway, let's it go. Like it doesn't look like a crossover. It looks like a Mustang. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking to you anymore. Let's go to another car. Wow, Rich said ugly. Put him in timeout. Put, put, him in, put him straight to timeout. It's not ugly in that Duke Cup. It's not ugly in the Duke Cup. You're such a hater. You are such a hater. Now, I'm going to show you another car. Volkswagen breaks ground on, in Tennessee. I like that. On Tennessee, so in the U.S., electric car factory to battle the Tesla Model Y. So Ford is going after Tesla. Volkswagen's going after Tesla. Volkswagen to break ground eminently on a factory expansion in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I love that a lot of these companies uh, that are overseas are building a lot of their stuff over here in the U.S. All right, over here in the U.S., um, and Rich said that was the first time he agreed with you. All right, where the capacity will be, um, uh, how about, they're going to make, they're going to put out about 200, they're going to put out about a quarter million cars a year. Man, that's going to be a lot of cars. I love Volkswagen. I actually have a Volkswagen. Uh, I don't have it. My, my daughter's got it, but uh, I, I love Volkswagen. I love Volkswagen. All right, so those are my stories on energy. All right, you notice we talked about wind energy. We talked about um, electric energy. Now, I'm going to take us back to, uh, what am I looking for now? I'm going to look at Ford. Um, I'm going to look at oil. I'm going to look at Volkswagen. I'm going to look at energy, and I'm going to look at natural gas. All right, I'm just going to go straight to the graphs for these. All right, let's start off with Ford. Ford, this story may bolster Ford. All right, it may bolster Ford, but right now, uh, it hasn't yet. The stock is a little bit more in a channel between the range of 880 on the upside and 848 to the downside. Um, Ford is a lot more in a channel right now, but maybe this news could bolster it. And if I'm thinking about that, let's wait and see if it can break above whatever moving average you're comfortable with. In my case, I'm using the 20 exponential. I'm using the 20 exponential. All right, let's go to the next one. Oil. Look at that. Oil is on the rise breaking out of a level of resistance at 1217. So oil on its own merit uh, is rising, no earnings per share on an ETF. I do like that. Now we're gonna move from oil over to Volkswagen. I got an electric car. Volkswagen was already moving up prior, unlike Ford, right? Volkswagen was already moving up, right now leveling out with its story about its electric car. Let's see what the news can do to it. If I'm looking to get into the car, into the stock, let's see if we can break above the three month high. I like that most recently the stock has gotten a buy recommendation and look at that earnings per share. I don't like the volume. I don't like the lack of the volume, but I do like the earnings per share and I like the equity curve. So Volkswagen may be something to look at. Now, energy as a whole, I know Joey, <coughs> I'm running a little behind. <coughs> 
energy as a whole, looking at oil, looking at electric, looking at um, gas, energy as a whole is doing a little bit of a bounce right now, breaking very close to breaking out of its level of resistance, sitting at 60 bucks. So energy as a whole is on the rise. Uh, let's go see what happens. And let's go look at natural gas. Whew. Natural gas is taking it on the chin, big time. Oil looks better than natural gas, but you know why? Um, it's because it's so far it's been kind of a mild winter. Uh, we had a cold snap for about a week here in North Carolina, but right now, um, what's my temperature sitting at right now? We're at 60 degrees. We're at 60 degrees. So with mild weather, natural gas is going to get hit. Wait till it starts getting cold, gas will start popping. All right, gas will stop popping. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like refresher information about the software, click on this getting started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.